across the lands and oceans, and into the skies, and far off in space, these are the tremendous jumps that make up the tale of humanity. We have been sending our technology ahead of us to planets, comets, and even interstellar space. However, it would take tens or even hundreds of millennia with present rocket propulsion technology to go to our nearby star system, Proxima Centauri. It appears that the stars have placed rigid restrictions on human destiny. Rapid technological advancements over the past 15 years have created the opportunity for light-powered space travel at a considerable fraction of the speed of light. In this scenario, Ultralight Nanocraft's miniature space probes mounted on light sails are propelled to speeds of up to 100 million miles per hour by a ground-based light beamer. Such a system would enable a fly-by mission to arrive at Proxima Centauri in less than 20 years after launch, beaming home images of its recently discovered planet Proxima b, and any additional planets that may lie in the system, as well as gathering other scientific data like magnetic field analysis and other data. Let's imagine that, while adhering to the laws of physics, we genuinely wish to send a spacecraft to another star. The standard will be quite low. We're not referring to enormous cruise ships brimming with explorers eager to see the planetoid Scrachylandia Prime and Itchy's extreme fun zone attractions. We are not suggesting to take any drastic steps, like dispatching a seasoned squad of power-armored space marines to protect residents from xenomorphs. No, we are talking about sending a tiny, robotic, operational spacecraft from Earth to Alpha Centauri. The fastest spacecraft we've ever launched is the New Horizons. It is currently traveling at a pace of 14 kilometers per second. It would take this speedy little probe vet 100,000 years to go to the nearest star. Our lack of reality shattering propulsion is primarily to blame for this. Iron engines, like the one NASA's Dawn spacecraft uses, are our greatest option for propulsion. If we added a gravitational assist from the Sun and employed an iron engine, it would take us 19,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri, according to Discovery Space's beloved Ian Handsome O'Neill. Imagine what we could accomplish in the 81,000 years we would be saving. In order to pursue nearby hypothetical propulsion technology, we can start pulling back the curtain on reality. Using nuclear weapons or antimatter engines to launch spacecraft's back end. The Planetary Society's light sail is the best solution currently under consideration. We can accelerate the spacecraft using both the sun's rays and strong lasers. But if we're going to go down that path, we could also deploy tiny, more easily accelerated light sail spacecraft. They might connect to create a communications relay or possibly a robotic system after these mini-probes have reached their objective. The rules of physics still need to be followed by this strange drive even if it does in fact function, assuming you wouldn't be able to go faster than the speed of light. Apart from that, a fantastic energy source would be required to run the reactor. A warp drive is being developed by NASA. Olkabir drives are a real warp drive concept being developed by NASA. It would truly distort space to enable travel faster than the speed of light, as suggested by science fiction. However, they've done a lot of sophisticated math by working on it. But after doing all the calculations, scientists can just start building, right? Since this idea is so hypothetical, they are currently debating whether powering an Olkabir drive would require more energy than the universe itself can hold, which can be easily referred to as the barrier. Therefore, we won't say that it's completely impossible to reach another star, but it sounds nearly impossible to achieve that in the near future. Do not forget to like, comment, and share the video. Subscribe to our channel to view more such content,